So for my first project, I decided to go with N up printing. Um, that's going to be two up, three up, however many up. Um, it's a print layout strategy in which multiple pre-rendered pages are composited onto a single page. So whether it's PDFs or InDesign documents, you're just kind of taking those and putting them into a just kind of one InDesign document so it's a little easier for printing. It's achieved by reduction in size, possible rota rotations, and subsequent arrangement in a grid pattern. Um, so yeah, you just kind of rotate it and just kind of find the best way that they fit in there. The primary purpose of it is to reduce the number of pages that a printed work would otherwise require without having to re-edit the pages. So it's just going to be a lot easier to, and a lot easier and a lot more efficient when you print if you use the end up strategy. If you're printing a lot of things or using a certain um, layout there. Um, so I'll show you a few examples here. All right. So for the first example here, we had the. Uh, layout for the portfolio show booklet that they gave out there with the artist statements and stuff on there. Um, this was actually a great use of the end up printing because they used both front and back and they had four on here so it was just a great way to save paper and um, just kind of make it a more efficient design. So here you can see we have the crop marks up there that just kind of made it easier to cut out which is definitely something you're going to need to use if you do any end up printing just so you know which page ends where, because especially with this background here, um, it's nice to know just exactly where the middle of the page is or where the corners are so you don't cut off too much or not enough on the pages there. Um, that's the first example of end up printing. So all right, our next example here is gonna be also from the portfolio show. Um, this is an example of an eight up layout here. And as you can see, we also have those crop marks in there. And we also have some gutter on here, too. Just because this design was small enough that you wanted to have some extra space in between these so that it didn't get too crowded. But you can just see, uh, we're just using that grid layout that we talked about earlier. Um, it's just 8 by 2 there, just to make it a little bit more efficient. Because, I mean, rather than just printing one of these on the piece of paper, I mean, you're wasting a lot of paper if you do that. Or even two, you're able to get 8 on a piece of paper. So this end up printing is really great if you want to save paper or um, just kind of make your layout a little bit more efficient um, when it comes to cost and stuff. Using an end up layout is a great way to kind of promote that cost effectiveness if you're going for that. So... This is another good example of end up printing. All right, so for our next example here, we had our InDesign keyboard shortcut booklet. Um, this is a two up layout uh, featuring crop marks there. Um, in this one, we didn't have any bleed or going at all uh, close to, to the edge of the page there, um, just because we wanted that extra white space around the side. But this, we actually used screenshots um, rather than a PDF or another InDesign file, we just screenshotted it from the book, did a little editing with the page numbers and the stuff at the top there in InDesign. Um, but yeah, these are just screenshots. So with these end-up layouts, it doesn't matter kind of what the file type is, as long as it's the right size and it's laid out correctly in the file there, you can, you can use these uh, layouts to make printing a little bit more efficient. Um, I have the booklet here, just to kind of show off how it was both front and back there. Um, and then actually, with the layout of the booklet, I did a quick little sketch back here. Um, you can see here that the back page is actually going to be on the left, and the front page is going to be on the right, like this, when you're laying it out in the document. Um, that, that may not look too surprising kind of right away, but once you get down in here to say page 12 on, and page 5, I mean, most people are going to assume that aren't in the industry are going to assume that page 5 is going to be here and page 6 would be here. But actually, page six is on the opposite side of that over here. Um, because if you lay it out that way, you're actually going to be able to make this booklet the right way. But if you laid it out one, two, three, four, five, six, all on the same side, it's not going to come out the right way. So that just kind of shows how having a good plan and actually sketching this out and having an info is going to be um, huge for how your design is going to turn out. All right, and then finally... I had this cheesecake dessert menu layout here, which looks very delicious. But <laughs> this is another example of a two up that actually kind of looks like a four up, but actually just because it folds in the middle here, you don't cut. Um, it folds in the middle just because it was a table tent. 
Um, but you can see here we have some crop marks down there, so you know where to know where to cut there. So we're trimming off there, but actually you don't want to trim off the bottom here because that's what you're going to use to fold. I have the example here of how it turned out. You can see there and there. But yeah, I mean it's just it's a great way to make table tents because you get two rather than one here. And I mean if you're if you have a bigger piece of paper you can get even more, but just on these eight and a half by eleven pieces of paper, you get two for the price of one. So it's just a a great way to save on money and save on paper. So for Anna printing that's it. I mean it's a pretty elaborate topic, but I covered what I could in five minutes and um we it's something we've done a lot of actually in the in the first year at least. I mean even this year we've done a pretty good amount. And it's something if you work anywhere in print you're gonna do a lot of. So knowing stuff about end up printing is just is really important. So hopefully you learn something.